for you to know if a trading strategy is good for you or not, the first thing to do is actually backtesting it by using past information to actually trade it and see if that strategy works. Because if the strategy works with the past information, then there's high chance that it's also going to work with current day's information. So if you just learned a new forex trading strategy and you want to know if that strategy is effective or not, then I advise you to watch this video to the very end. Because in today's video, I'm going to share with you a free software that you can use to backtest your trading strategy. Whether you are trading the forest market, crypto market, or any market you are trading at all, trust me, you can actually use this uh, free software to actually backtest this strategy. And unlike other trading software whereby you can only backtest on laptop, well, this particular uh, system I'm going to share with you allows you to backtest both on your phone and on your computer. However, when you So, hello guys. Outside this, I'll be sharing with you a free backtesting software and some things to take note of when you are backtesting. So for those of you who will be backtesting on your mobile phones, you can see the software on your screen, right? And that's simply the software. You can go and search for it on your app store, like whether iOS or Android, you can simply go and search for it and then download it. So for those of you on your laptop, this particular software hasn't released the desktop version. So the only way to get it on your desktop is simply using it on the web or downloading what to call web, web catalog. So there are only two ways in which you can get it. One is simply going to use it on the official website. Or secondly, you can use this web catalog. So web catalog is simply um, a desktop interface where you can install Android or iOS mobile apps. Like it allows you to download mobile applications inside it. And that's why I like it and because it makes work really easy. So all you simply have to do once you come over to web catalog is simply go down. Like just go down and then hit on web catalog desktop. Simply hit on it and then download it. So after downloading it on your desktop, all you simply have to do is launch it. So for me personally, I already have it here and you can see here. You can see that for me, I already have it. So once you come into a web catalog, there are so many mobile applications here. But however, what you want is simply uh, go charting. So you can simply come over and search for the mobile application, which is go charting. You see, go charting. I've already downloaded it. That's why you can see it here with the option to open. If you haven't downloaded it, you will see an option probably which says, um install like you can see what's up is telling me to install facebook install so once you download it you can easily come and search for it on your you can come over to your library you see on the library you can see it here so now after this all you simply have to do is simply uh come over and then launch it so let me just open it up so you see once you click on the mobile app like it will not launch inside there the reason why I personally use the mobile, the desktop application is because it gives me a better view of it unlike the mobile phone. The mobile phone gives a good view as well, but it's a bit small as compared to the laptop itself. So that's why I prefer working with a laptop rather than using um, mobile phones. So the next thing is simply hit on login. So in case you don't have an account, you can hit on create new one, create one now. So once you hit here, you're going to create one. So for me personally, I already have an account. So let me just log in. I made mistake with the email. I have multiple email of same kind. Mm -hmm. So this is the actual email. Okay. So I believe I've gotten it right now. So it should log me in. Yes, exactly. So now you can see that I just logged in right now. Just log in on the Go Charting right now. So after I log in, the next thing to do is actually launch in your chat interface. So for that, simply come over here, hit on products, and then hit on chat. So once you hit on chat, now this one will open the Go Charting mobile app uh, trading interface for you, you, which you can use to analyze your market just as you use Trading View, or simply you can use it um, just for back testing and then use trade, Trading View for analytics. At the end of the day. The preference totally depends on you what you want and then how you want it to be. So, so once you download this uh, particular mobile mobile application or on your desktop like this, the next thing you simply have to do is simply look at the pairs you want to backtest. That's when we get into the backtesting. So, for example, if I want to backtest this market, which is a nifty, which is nifty. So you can see this is not a forest pair. This is probably indices or something. So all you simply do is simply set coming over to the chart and then. You come over to your preferred time frame. So as a day trader, you all know that we are more familiar with, a, we are more used to the one hour and 15 minute time frame. So for example, let me just hit on one hour time frame. So now uh, you set your time frame. The next thing you simply do, you can come and set your chart. If you need line chart, candlestick, or 
any one at all that you think will work best for you simply come over it and then your indicators this way find your indicators because if you are back testing depending on the strategy you are back testing you might need indicators and the rest so this way you can simply come and search for your indicators so you can manually search for anyone here so for example let me search for moving average you can see exponential moving average all of them are here and then here is your bar replace so for example if i want to back test them this market the first thing you need to do is simply come over to where it says go to date now set the date range in which you want to back test so for example let me say i want to back test from um um let me say 2023 may, may 2023 on the 52 um let me say go back to 2023 2023 december 31st just like this and after that just hit on apply so once you hit on apply the market will automatically take you back into that day so now you can see it's on the one hour time frame so you can see this is it thursday 22 june 2023 so you can see the market over here so all you simply have to do is simply uh let me get back a bit so once you set your preferred time frame like this, you can keep going back to go get exactly where you want. Like you just have to keep scrolling. And then for example, you want to back test from here. All you simply have to do is hit on bar replay and then double click. You see, once you double click, it will then cut off the other part of the market. Then you can start back testing. So now here's the thing you need to take note of. You see this one here, the lower the uh, time you pick here the faster the bars will move so for example i said let 0 0.5 0 0.1 second equal one bar so you can see this one the bars will be moving really really fast and on the other hand if you take it to the highest level the bars will be mo moving slowly 10 seconds per bar so the lower you take the speed here the faster or slower the bars are actually going to move so this is for the time and then the other thing you need to do is simply you, you can see over here here are all the tools you need so for your positions taker you can see this for your long position taker i mean your short position because this is your position taker and here it shows you the risk to reward risk to return 3.0 so you see your short and long position taker everything is right in here so this is simply everything about this software there's nothing more different from me the only thing i actually love about it as compared to uh it's other part now trading view is that it, this one allows you to back test for free and then you still have access to every single thing trading view actually gives to you and if you want to change the pairs you, you are back testing you can simply come over here and then change the pair so for example i can just search for gbp uh g sorry gbp so you can just search for any pair right now and then just hit on the pair and then it takes you straight in to that particular market and then that's simply all about it and i've already shown you how you can do your cutting and back testing everything so you can see this one all you simply have to do is you can just scroll back world like this and not even go far and then just hit on replay and then just double click and then you can start your back testing like for example you get it up to this level you can pull up the charts together just as you do on your trading views uh get your probably your support and resistance level your swing highs and lows and everything so for example if I want to draw the trend for this market right now, I'll just get it up like this, you see. So this is an uptrend. And then probably get the other side of it. Which is the market is moving upside. And then if you want to add your indicators, come over to study and then search for moving average, exponential moving average. So once you add up your moving average right right now let me just move this off you can see the uh moving average you can double click it and then just set to period 200 apply you can come and change the appearance to any color of your choice you see type you need line or area you see so anyone you set you're actually going to get exactly that so after that you see this is simply how it is and then you can start your back testing from here I see the market has broken out of the uh trend area here so this could be probably a signal for a sell but before you sell most of this market you have to wait for it to go below the 200 ema you see as long as it hasn't gone beyond below the 200 ema there's no need to place a sell order and you can see that it didn't go below it and the market is going back upward so assuming you actually placed a short order at this level 
and then your stop loss will probably be in here what's the take profit to be that meaning you're already getting into a huge loss already so if i should fast forward the time okay that is the fastest you can go probably boom your stop loss would have been smashed that's why when you are trading it's advisable you add uh, the 200 ema most of the times mostly if you have to do with trend because it helps you to identify trend and in other reason this is the main reason why you don't have to trade against trend so if you are traded against the trend here boom you will be a loss so you can simply see how you do your setup and your backtesting i cannot show you how i backtest because the strategy i'm backtesting is, might be different from the strategy you are backtesting like right now the strategy i just backtested is the trend trading strategy whereby i'm looking for the trend to either continue or break out with the help of the 200 ema you see that the moment it came back for the retesting i would have placed a buy order at this particular area here because i knew that it was never going to break below it so that's simply all about uh, setting up this software and then doing your back testing and all the rest so once back testing here's the thing you cannot place orders in here so the only way you can get your orders whilst back testing is simply using the position taker so for example if i had placed a long position here and then i'll take my take profits to this area here which is the top of this uh upper line here and then my stop loss probably um below here below this is really stressful no let me just use my normal tax bar it seems the mass is running low so it simply set it up like this and then i'll just let it play so once the market hit your either a stop loss or take profit you simply write you simply write it down in your notebook and that's simply all so now let me take you straight and show you some things you need to keep on head whenever you are back testing the first one is simply your setup so when you are back testing the first thing is having a clear setup what is your setup which strategy are you back testing and which strategy are you using to take that trade that's simply one thing you need to know so the first thing is simply writing down your setup the reason why i'm writing down your setup is that after back testing you look at the setup that gave you the most wins and then you focus on only that setup the second thing is your time frame which time frame are you back testing are you using the one hour time frame the daily time frame or the 15 minute time frame so if you're using the 15 minute time frame it simply means that when you are going to trade after back testing you should also focus on the 15 minute time frame don't back test on the one hour time frame and then go and trade your real account on a 15 minute or five minute chart it will be very difficult and you record so many losses the third thing is that whilst back testing what was your emotion like where were you comfortable taking all of your trade or you were feeling a bit uh shaky you write it down all this one will help you make better decision when you start trading your real account the fourth thing is your risk to reward how much were you risking to reward like for example um if you are using a position taker over here for example you can see risk to return this is um one risk to return is simply 1.5 1.75 meaning i'm risking uh, probably a hundred dollar for 175 dollar which is a good risk to reward if you consider the movement because so for example if i should take it slower you see this risk to reward of 2.8 downwards there's no reward at all you are actually in loss here so you can see this simply how uh this system works and then the next thing is simply your entry confirmation what actually confirms when you enter the market what did you use to confirm like for example for this market after drawing that this market is an uptrend when it broke below here you see that i added a 200 ema to wait for the market to break below it before i place my order so if the market has broken below it before i place my sell order that simply means that i'm trading with a 200 ema and my confirmation here was a 200 ema for a trend market and then i'll simply mark that out and then simply uh write it down on my note that okay i use the 200 ema for the confirmation so when i'm going to trade my real account i know that okay the 200 ema gave me a win in this sort of market structure so now let me fall to it and then the final thing is simply your final results was the trade a winner or a loser if it was a winner why did he win what and what did you add together to make it win what did you do how did you feel whilst taking that trade and then if it was a loser why did he lose did you wait for a good confirmation like for example for a beginner who starts to trade once they see this market break below this trend here majority of beginners will go and place sell order but the truth is that once you place sell order here it simply means that you did not wait for additional confirmation before placing your orders so that's simply all of it about this video and in case you don't have a good trading strategy and you want to learn a trading strategy that you can actually start using today then i advise you you come over to youtube like you're on youtube right now simply go and watch the video that will be displaying on your screen right now so now let me show you that particular video let me come over to the, my channel and show you that particular video here you can go watch um playlist so can go come over to the trading strategy whether you trade crypto or forex 
you see you can come and watch all of these videos all these videos are all talking about price action with various indicators that i use alongside price action to make sure that i'm getting the right and getting everything i'm doing right with the market so that already said hope you have hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video and tell me what you feel down in the comment section with that already said have a nice day bye